hello everyone welcome once again to my channel i hope you guys are doing well i'm doing great and in this video i'm just going to be showing you guys a critical change github made to their platform which means that you will no longer be able to use your username and password to do your git operations on github and as you can see here beginning august 13 2021 we will no longer accept account passwords when authenticating git operations on github.com which means that you would only be able to use you know your personal access um, or auth github you can also use ssh you can also use ssh if you want to um, but for this video i would actually be showing you the personal access um, token now to use that to authenticate against github um, for the ssh one i've already done a video on how you can authenticate with ssh with bitbucket you can also check that vid video out because it follows the same convention um, but for this one we're just going to focus on personal access token and one thing i just want to point out is that if you don't have git installed yet on your computer the first thing you want to do is you want to install it you can go on this link i'll put this link down in the description below you can actually use it to actually make sure that you can um, install git on your computer and once you have that i i just want to show you for this demo i'm going to create a private repo and then let's make it a private repo and then let's create a readme file and let's create a repository and as you can see i have a repository i just want to show you what i mean but they've stopped us from using our password okay I'm going to open up my my repository in here you can see there's no other repository there's no private repository here um, let's just cmd into this place and then let's try to clone private repo into this into this folder in my local machine and see what happens um, basically you can see it's asking me now to supply a personal access token but i don't have that you know how do i get that but before we do that let's just see what happens if i try to use my username and password so let's say code with me at gmail.com and then let's put in my password and then you can see there it says support for password authentication was removed on august 13 2021 please use a personal access token instead so and that is what we're gonna do now <laughs> so you go onto your profile on there you click on it you go to settings and from your settings you go to developer settings and then in your developer settings you should actually be able to see uh, a personal access token section and then you can generate a token in there you can just put a note of what the token is all about and then this expiration is something you can actually like set um, the no expiration one i would not recommend even github doesn't recommend it because your token can be compromised and if it's compromised anyone can get access to your actual you know github account and you know use that to do things on your on your repositories so you and you don't want that but the advisable one is to actually create short-lived personal access token but for this demo i'm just going to go with like 30 days and then i want this actual token to actually to just be scoped to you know to full control of private repositories that means that this token can be used to do you know anything within a private repository and then i just want to generate the token once the token is generated you want to make sure you copy that because once you if you don't copy it then you will not be able to see it again you can see it's written here and basically we just have to go back here try to clone that actual repo again and see what happens and then we can put in that actual personal access token that we just got from here and that's what i just you know paste onto this guy when i say sign in just see what happens it's gonna start cloning you can see it's cloned it into my local machine and if i check the repos now you can see i have a private repo now which is amazing <laughs> and then i go in here you can see there's a readme file and if you go back to let's just go back to repositories and then um, go back to our private repo and then let's go back to you can see this is my readme file which just says private repo let's see let's see if i can you know change that and push up my code hello world personal token and let's save that right and then you want to go back to your your repo which is the the, the private repo which is um this repository you want to you know open your terminal in there using cmd and then what i want to do is i want to just say git add just to you know track that that change i've actually just added 
and then message is um updates to read me file file and then git push okay and you can see now that i've been able to push i've pushed the code and let's go back to the to the browser if i refresh let's just click on this you can see the hello world personal token and yeah and that's actually it that's what i want to show you guys i hope this actually added value to you and please don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe to my channel because that is really very important <laughs> and also comment you know give me comments let me know if there's something you want me to show and i will gladly actually do it if it's within my capacity and i hope you guys uh, keep well and i'll see you in my next video cheers <laughs>